David, thank you very much. That was a fabulous ride. As you can see, this is a tuk-tuk. It's also a wonderful uh, mobile branding solution and also has a great CSI component. A little later on in the program, we're going to be talking about that. We will also be joined by veteran newsreader Rian Kreivachen, who is uh, hanging up his microphone, turning off the teleprompter after decades in the business. A warm welcome to Mags on Media. So let's just start the program this week with this tuk-tuk uh, -tuk that I rather unceremoniously arrived in uh, a little uh, earlier today, parked outside uh, the Mags on Media Studios. And the big question is why would a brand like Old Mutual actually want to get involved with something like this? Uh, as I mentioned to you, there's a nice uh, CSI component. So I'm going to introduce you, introduce you to uh, two guests uh, today. Firstly, uh, Shirley Kwao from Old Mutual. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining us. And uh, Neil McWilliams. I think it's uh, Shisha Tuk Tuks, is it? Shisha Tuk Tuks. Shisha tuk -tuks. And the the idea was yours. Most important question, look in there, is the handbrake on? I think it is. That's absolutely, absolutely critical. Yeah. Okay. Where did the idea come from? You know, tuk-tuks are, are quite a common transportation method in, in emerging markets around the world. Nothing new about the vehicle themselves, but obviously in South Africa, not utilized um, as a public transport uh, system. So, you know, the idea really came about with the introduction of the car train. Um, you know, what, what really sparked the idea was with the introduction of the train, a lot of casual commuters um, coming into Santon um, and kind of left stranded. Um, you know, you've got business people. In I've seen them up the escalator and suddenly, where am I going? There's nothing there for me. So yeah. the Tuk Tuk filled quite a niche market from that perspective. Just the short, quick trips around Santon at a very competitive price mm. point. You obviously saw a nice branding opportunity, one, but there's also, as, as I mentioned, a CSI component, Shirley. Uh, what, what's your involvement? We actually quite, do quite a lot of old mutual in mm. terms of uh, CSI initiatives, but a lot of people don't actually know about what mm. we do. We don't actually tell people what to do. And our, our, the people that we want to do business with actually want to see us doing good. Mm. So we saw this as an opportunity to actually talk about what we do. So mm. we use them as mobile billboards, uh, which is fantastic. I mean, the response so far has been great. Mm. In terms of pickup, uh, Neil, what's the response been like? Are people actually using this? Thing? I mean, there's a bit of reticence, isn't there? Business person gets out, you know, they've got a meeting and they've got to get into one of these things. Yeah, the response has been overwhelming, Jeremy. Mm. It really has the public have really warmed to the idea. Um, the phone hasn't stopped ringing, which is a good thing for us. Um, and we really believe in, in the system and, and alleviating the traffic concerns around Santon area. Um, and through old mutual support, you know, we really can achieve mm. that, that dream. Just in terms of the person who's who's driving it uh, and uh, that involvement, sure. how, how do they benefit from it? I mean, I presume there's also a brand CSI component there too. Absolutely. I think yeah. it's crucial for yeah. us as a business going forward for a sustainability model. Um, you know, that is one of, the, one of the most important things in the business is the drivers are incentivized. Um, they kind of run their own, the Tuk Tuk is their little business, um, and they actually keep the fares that they generate, so they're, they are actually starting up their own little business. And that was crucial, I would imagine, from Old Mutual's perspective. It was. Um, although we're not necessarily involved in the operations mm. of Shisha Tux, mm. I think we support enterprise development in other areas, and we felt that this was a great opportunity to create employment by Shisha Tux. Mm. They're employing 25 drivers, so for us it was mm. fantastic. It was aligned mm. to our principles. Shirley, you're a big listed corporate entity. I understand the the, the, the doing good component of all of this but ultimately you also want people to look at this and they want to do business with Old Mutual. Is, is, is there a link there for you? Well we've looked at our brand tracker mm. and from a brand tracker perspective we've seen that a lot of our customers especially around Joburg and Santon, more affluent customers, they actually want to see what the company is doing mm. from a CSI perspective so they want to do business with a company that actually does good in other communities. And that's becoming increasingly more important in a brand success, isn't it? Is. It is. It is. You can't just operate in, in a community and not actually give mm. back to the community mm. as well. Where's the risk in something like this? Um, look, there's risk, obviously, running a taxi company. Um, there are risks around the business model. Um, you know, there's the accident risk. Yeah. Uh, but we are obviously 100% covered from a liability yeah. perspective. We've had a look at that risk and, and put in place uh, measures to mitigate it as much as possible. Mm -hmm. But I think in any business these days, Jeremy, there is significant sure. risk around it. I'll tell you what I also think is the risk, and maybe from a branding right. perspective you can also answer it. I'm looking at this, and uh, you know, I presume you've given it a good wash and dust and polish before coming on a TV show, sure. but the reality is it's up to the driver and it's up to your company yeah. to make sure that whoever gets in here is having a positive brand experience, not only from your company's perspective, sure. but if this thing looks 
shabby, mm -hmm. uh, it's going to reflect negatively on Old Mutual. There's the risk. Definitely. I oh. think what we've done from our side is mm. that we've actually mm. uh, had engagements with uh, Shesha Tux to ensure mm. that they maintain certain standards. I think the good thing is that they actually operate around our head office, mm. so we see them quite often. So if someone's getting it wrong, you're opening the window and you're saying, yes. clean your tuk tuk. Yeah. <laughs> I can actually see them from my office. Yeah, I sense you've probably done that too. <laughs> I have, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so Just in terms of, of, of kind of measurable matrix as far as a CSI thing like this is concerned, I mean, do you set measurables and deliverables? What should a brand learn from this? I think from, from, from our side, what, we, what we're looking for is we actually want to see more people being aware of what we do. So obviously there are rankings out there that actually mm. measure awareness levels around mm. what companies do from a CSI perspective. We'd like to see that increasing on our side. Mm. So the more people who are aware mm. of what you do, the more, I think, yeah. um, communities are open to us as well. But beyond that, it's also just creating that positive brand yeah. halo, yeah. that brand yeah. glow, which is which is important. All Mutual has yeah. been around for over 167 years. You know, so mm. we have a legacy in this country, but we can't rest on our laurels. We have to keep doing this, things like sure. this, yeah. initiatives like this as well. Yeah. And the final question, what, what's the expansion potential here? Sure, Jeremy, I think it's really unlimited. You know, we've uh, put in perma application for permits to operate in Rosebank and Pretoria. And, you know, we want to create as many sustainable jobs as possible through Old Mutual and look for a nationwide rollout. Mm -hmm. and, and we believe that it, it, it could be done. Folks, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, good luck and uh, great insight. I uh, really appreciate the participation today. And uh, when Mags on Media continues this week, the massive global energy drink market and why it's getting bigger and stronger.